Hi everyone, welcome back. This is The Bent Knitter. This week we are going into another app review. This one is called My Row Counter, uh, which is a pretty nifty app and pretty well rounded. At the end of this video, I will have a video of me kind of playing around the app. So in case you want to take a look before you download, you can kind of see what I was playing with when I was doing it. Um, so it has a couple different tabs in the app, which, uh, so we'll jump into the first tab, which is tools. Uh, the fur there are a couple different things under the tools app. So the first one is a swatch adapter, which I haven't seen before, which is pretty cool. Basically it, you can put in what the swatch in the pattern says you should be at and what your swatch actually is. And it helps kind of, uh, make sure you're knitting the right size for the pattern so the garment is the right size that you want it to be, which is pretty cool. Didn't even thought about that until like I came across that. I was like, oh, that could be so useful and help for, the, for that. Um, there is a glossary uh, for knitting in both crochet and for crocheting, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, most of the apps so far I've been using is just strictly for knitting. And I like the fact that, that even though I don't crochet, you can do both and there's a glossary of both. So that way, when, like for me, if I dabble in, Crochet, it's good to have kind of glossary for both there. There's also a couple of converter uh, converters, like units converters, needle converter, wool converter. So that way, if you need help, if you're looking for yarn or needles or a pattern and you're wondering, you know, if this yarn is the right for this right pattern, you can do a lot of conversions very easily on this app. So that way it's very intuitive and it'll help you out. Um, since, you know, there's a lot of resources to find patterns, but not a lot of, you know, swapping of yarn and stuff like that and making sure you have enough. I know I don't like playing yarn chicken at the end of anything. So making sure I have the right needles and the right yarn for the pattern is, oh, so helpful. And so they also have a pattern creator uh, portion of this, which is pretty cool in case you're into creating your own patterns. Um, it gives you an option to do that. I didn't really play that much into it quite yet. If you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, let me know and I will make sure to go back and look into the pattern creator portion of all these apps because they also have a distribute increase and decrease. I feel like that kind of plays into the whole creating patterns in case you want to, uh, increase, well, increase or decrease. Um, so they also have a yarn converter, like we were discussing before of like making sure you have the right yarn for the right pattern. It gives, um, if you're using a different yarn, it's making sure you have enough yardage for your project. Um, so that was kind of the tool tabs, which is pretty cool. It has quite a bit of, information there too but also the going into the other tabs they have a community tab which is like social like if you want to post stuff and be social you can do that which is cool if if you want to do that um they also have a rc patterns tab which is basically their library of uh patterns that you can kind of look through and download in case you wanted to use one of their patterns their library seems to be pretty good it seems like they have a decent sized pattern library which is awesome um they have also again knitting and crocheting which is awesome that they're doing both um like i said they seem to have a pretty decent size amount in their library which is awesome but also what i realized is that you can also um attach your account to ravelry so that way you can download patterns from there too and use that in the app which is awesome so i know i do a lot of kind of shopping on ravelry um it's one of my go-to places for um kind of pattern shopping if i'm looking for that so now to the kind of the bulk of it in terms of the project um aspect of it which is really kind of cool because again like i said we just said it connects to ravelry so you can download a pattern and what it will do is display the pdf and on the top it will have a row counter uh, which is pretty cool you can increase and decrease um and the main counter will say global counter and what you can do is also add a couple different other counters to it to it which is awesome you can have it be linked to that global counter um or not so and you it seems like you can have more than one counters going at the same time i only added two to the global one so i had three going at the same time one was connected to the global one one was not 
which is awesome. So that way, if you have repeats of like rows, you can do that. Um, and you can still um, have a global counter going at the same time. And all of them, it was very situated, very nicely on screen. So you can kind of tra keep track of everything all at the same time. Um, it was very nicely laid out, I must say, if uh, especially once you get a couple counters going. Um, it was pretty easy to read. There was a uh, nighttime feature where, you know, it's easier on the eyes during the night, which is awesome, but it was very well laid out and very easy to read, especially with more counters, which is awesome. So the well, overall, it was a pretty cool app. Um, they do have ads on it. Now, they do have kind of a premium version of this app. So it is free to download. Um, but for what you can do is for three three dollars or two ninety nine, you can just take all the ads off. Not a bad idea for three bucks, especially if you're going to be using the um, app a lot because they do have dis like ads at the top and some pop up. So three bucks, I wouldn't mind kicking three bucks to them to be like, cool, take the ads off. Here's a little bit of money. They also have a kind of a yearly subscription to it. Um, or a premium mode where you can do more of like annotating your patterns and more counters and more like marking up on like your PDFs and stuff like that. Um, it's like 10 bucks a year or like $2 a month. If you're going to be a heavy user of this app, it's probably going to be use it, be worth it to pay like that 10 bucks to get, uh, to have like all the annotation and all the counters and probably like more uh, projects that going at the same time, again, if you're going to be a heavy user of this app, probably very useful and it's 10 bucks. It's not that steep of a cost per year. Um, but also gives them money. So that way they have kind of a way to improve the app. So it's pretty cool that it's kind of a reasonable price point to have a subscription to give you like added benefits. So I would go check it out, take a look, and again, if you're interested to see what it looks like, here is me playing around with the app. And I will see you next week. Bye.